I've got one mission and one mission only. Find the old treasures and get them to new vintage lovers' homes. We here at Jolie Flips Vintage pick through every location we visit with a fine tooth comb. Be it thrift shops, garage or estate sales, vintage markets, or antique malls, if there are secondhand luxury pieces lurking around, we will surely find them. So pull up a seat, get cozy, and Jolie flip with us. We are finally doing a Goodwill video. <laughs> and it's at um, Naples. And guess what? We brought our dad with us. He wanted to come uh, with us on our little Naples trip this Sunday. Easter Sunday. Happy Easter if you follow it. Um, Goodwill is open. Okay, here we go. Let's grab a cart real quick. Ooh, this is... I think we've been here before. It looks familiar. Uh oh, they're all stuck. <laughs> okay, got my purse in here. Very quiet today. This is the one that had a lot of the newer stuff, right, Adam? I do need bras. <laughs> do need a bra. <laughs> These are real cute, and they're two packers for $12. That's a pretty good deal. Some furniture. Right, let's go to the back. I don't think this particular Goodwill has um, a lot of hard goods. It's like mostly clothes and newer items. So I see Raku though, I think. Yeah, this is an amazing, ah, stuff just flew right out of it. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in there. It's $15. <laughs> Um, where's Adam? He might have used, want to go use the restroom. Well, I mean, I'm gonna, it's signed. <laughs> I'm gonna pick this up. It's like one of the nicest Raku pots I've ever seen. I think for, <laughs> look at this. I think for $15, that's totally worth it. It's huge. I'm gonna empty all that out though in a garbage can somewhere. All right, let's see what else they got. This is kind of cool. All right. Looking under everything. I kind of like this pod. Kind of reminds me of Temptations. Cherry Blum for 2225th. Sherry. Sherry's Garden. It's kind of a nice little pot. It's resin. All right. Let's go down here. Do, do, do. <laughs> Singing over the... Uh, <laughs> Singing over the music. Some fresh cards. Here. Is that glass? Yeah, it is. They're koalas. Oh, let's rescue that. $7.99. Before it gets messed up. Hey, what else? I've got this beautiful glass piece here. Sectioned. Oh, move stuff. Maybe newer. It's five ninety nine. I think it's newer. Okay, look at these opalescent um, dishes. These are nice for ninety nine cents each. I don't know if they're new. Thought they would be Fire King when I picked. Oh, it's federal glass. Let's pick those up. Those are cute. Those are real cute. Um, and this is uh, handmade. Oh, but they did a good job. Um, but there's a chip there. So we will leave it. Oh, this is a nice, nice place today. These flowers are all chipped otherwise. Okay, I really like this here. Oh, this is something department. I don't know. It's nice. I don't want to ship that. Very heavy. This is a cool box. And there's this. Made in India. I'm always looking for Mariposa, you know. <laughs> well, this is home goods. So that's a, a really cool pot. Nonetheless. Anything different? Anything unique? Oh, terracotta. Oil lamp. Oh, these are cool. These are wicker. K 
candle holders, but this is all broken up here. There's a smaller one, but I would want to buy a pair. Okay, I think we're good on this side. It's a cool little decanter. Big decanter. Let's go on the other side. All right, I'm over here on the back shelves. I'm seeing this cute little strawberry plant. I mean, I like the texture on there. It's not smooth, it's rough on the strawberries. Mm -hmm. This terracotta. Just like the, the design. This is really nice. How many pieces like this am I going to buy? This is B. Joe Dinch. $24.99 is a little steep, which is okay. I wasn't feeling it to begin with. This is nice. Ten dollars. Ooh. Okay. So now we know what that type of art is gonna sell for here. It's nice too. Someone made that. Bananas. Mm -mm -mm. What about down here? Let's get in there. Twenty sixteen. We'll scooch on over here. This is nice. Is that terracotta too? Yeah. Stamped. How much they want for that? Ten dollars. Right? Yeah, ten dollars. Hmm, it's too much. The only thing with these things are the little pieces of glass. They come right off. They can come right off. I've seen these before. I'm from Target. Cake banks. Some stuff back there. Let's see. Um, like finding anything right here. Kind of like that fish dip tray or whatever it is. Is this glass? No. Oh vintage though it's vintage though I like how the music's not loud here that's good all right I'm just gonna go like this so that you guys can see the whole thing there's a lot of glasses but honestly nothing that's catching my eye no uranium no rare anchor hawking stuff okay we're gonna turn around Tumblers. This is kind of nice. Someone made that. Good job. All right. Sorry, I have a tendency of dragging my feet. I will not do that anymore. Okay. That's a Reuben candlestick. I've never seen one like that before. Oh, it's cracked. I think I would have picked that up though. It's cracked though. I'm just thinking maybe for my own collection. But I will not. Um, this one. It's cracked. It's an interesting um, thing. Mm, I don't like it. These, I think, are from Peru, right? Oh, Costa Rica. $7.99. It has a toucan on it. It's nice. I have a lot of pieces like that. Oh, this is kind of cool. I wonder if that's vintage. Oh, he's got a chip on his hand, but that's just neat. <laughs> Five dollars. That's steep. What about these? Are these really mid-century? I don't think so. Target. Nice. We want, um... They want six dollars each for each one. I don't think so. Goodwill. What else? Oh, look at this. It's very yellow though, and oh, so scuffed. Otherwise, that would have been a cool pickup. Six dollars. I don't know if this terrine is newer. It's pretty. Wow. $20, but it's big. Oh, 
it might be actually older. I don't know. It, it looks too perfect. I'm gonna leave that. <laughs> no. I was thinking of getting these candles, but I mean, it's $10 and not for the set, just for the candle. Have you ever seen such a thing? I think you can get candles like that for a dollar. At the dollar store. Mm. See if there's anything back here, any linens. Oh, look, there's more stuff right here. Ooh, it like hits you by surprise. Louisburg Square, Louisburg Square. Patron bottle. Here's a, is it Tanala technically? Mug, I don't know. this but it's all torn here and continually breaking as I touch it continuously okay um it's pretty too um I'm not feeling the whole digging through fabric today this is pretty little pink rose but if I see anything that catches my eye real quick, then I'll grab it. But I sure don't. All right, I think that the Raku piece, Federal Glass, and the Koalas are all we're gonna get at this location. On to the next one. I pulled this out of the cart. This is signed but I think it might be missing like the top. It's cool. This is, um, she's getting ready to stock these up on the shelves. So, all right, let's go ahead and check out. I just found this random penguin um, cup, but there's no price on it. Let's go up there and see if they all let us buy it. Look at the book section. Ah! Oh, Adam wants Haribo sour streamers. Look at the face yeah, on the thing. That's why I'm buying <laughs> All right, let me see if they'll sell us the mug. Of course, we stopped by Starbucks. Adam got his Oleato short cafe. And my dad is trying the Oleato for the first time. You like it, Dad? Yeah. Good. It's really good. And they were out of the brown sugar um, shaken espresso for me. So we are doing the hazelnut. Delicious. Okay, so we are at our second Goodwill store. This one's 10455 something something road. <laughs> All the locations are always going to be listed in the description below. All right, let's go here, see what we can find. Yeah, we've been here. We like this one. No, you don't feel like we have? Yeah, I think we've been here. All right. Oh, look at that big basket. I might need that. Let's grab this one here. Is there stuff along the wall there? That's cool. Let's go there. But I really am digging a couple of things here, Adam. Check this out. Now that's a good table, right? It's a good table and that's a good basket. Here, go inside. <laughs> Don't do it. No. <laughs> Oh, I think I see some jadeite, but it's probably modern jadeite. Yeah. What? Soda, lime glass, milk, and sugar. I don't like it. Oh, $20. Maybe for the whole set, $10. Oh. Okay, so they're out of their mind. <laughs> All right, let's see go along the wall and see what else they have. Adam is right behind me somewhere. He's probably looking for books. This is kind of nice how they decorate the shelves to kind of give you an idea of what it would look like in your home. Oh, that's neat. It's resin. Wow, it's pretty. $15 with the hummingbirds. How pretty. Okay. 
Okay, oh, this pottery piece for five dollars. Signed Jody, nineteen eighty-two. I don't know if I'm a big fan of speckled pottery anymore. And I think I only say that because it doesn't really sell well. But not everything is always about selling. But in that case, yes for me because now we've accumulated a whole bunch of speckled pottery and can't sell. And then there's this pretty. That's actually resin. That was a resin teapot. Okay. Just want to go alongside the wall here. Oh gosh, guys, 40 bucks. Remembrance, 1947 Rod Rogers Brothers. $40. Did we walk into an antique mall? What is happening? Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to stop complaining and go to the back and see what I can find. Oh, there is a book section. Housewares back there. All right, lots of dishes. Pretty sure this is where I found my anthropology parrot plate set, which I bought for a lot. It was like $19.99 for six pieces, but I sold each one for like 30 bucks. Life is better with a cat. I mean, I will have to agree with that. How much is that mug? $2.99? I think it's a really cool mug. Let's grab that. And there's other massage therapists. Me. <laughs> it's funny. Look like at this cat. Two can art. Super cute. I'm not interested in it, but it's really cute. Do do do. Is that Daryl Oates playing above? I love Daryl Oates. Daryl and Oates? Daryl Oates? What the heck is wrong with me? I meant Hall and Oates. I love their music. We're just listening to all of the music. In the car. On our way up. I just have my Pandora um, playing in the background. Let's see. I like these, like, this is probably an ashtray, but I like the plate bases because you could put if you find fairy lamp tops like these kind of things you can put them on top you know if you're trying to use it at home okay some silver silver overlay right here but I'm not the biggest fan of those some new Deruda maybe it's chipped made in Tuscany some metal pieces over here Is that a cork plate? Yeah, it is. Um, a lot of the regular stuff that you normally see at thrift stores. And I don't think these Coca-Cola glasses sell well. I like them. But I, I mean, I've tried selling them in the past and I think I did sell a set of six similar ones, but they were, um, they were very, I was lowballed. I don't think it was lowballed. I think I just sold it for what they actually do sell for which was not much. Look at these. These are Dairy Queen ones. Let's look up the value of those. All right, so it looks like it was selling for about $15 on eBay, but we'll leave that. Um, this is kind of cool. Someone, I wonder if that's Raku. It's ashy, I don't know. It's like a, their own picture the way they made it was kind of cool but I don't really like the way the spout is it makes it look like it's broken but it's actually not it's just the way they made it okay it's a cool little wreath let's keep going this little wood bowl ooh spalted maple I kind of like that it's kind of worn though on the edges look that What's this? Okay. This might be, yeah, that's Raku, so that's cool. It's a Raku kind of day. This one's cool. It's not signed, but it's numbered, which I find interesting. See the iridescence from the, that's cool, that green, from the firing. Hmm. I love finding Raku. 
Oh, that's a cool banana plate. Oh, it's chipped. That was cool though. <laughs> Word of the day, cool. Sometimes I hear myself, like especially when I'm repeating something over and over again, I'm like, oh, that's a cloisonne egg. Hmm. Damage. It's quite a bit of damage right there. Okay. Um, it is a Raku kind of day. This little hand painted birdhouse. Find anything good? I found another piece of Raku, which is cool. It's in the cart. If you want to look at it. Oh, yeah, it's, it's really ash at the bottom. It's really cool. <laughs> I was just telling them how I'm saying the word cool quite a bit, and here I am doing it in. Mm, this is nice. $3.99, though. It's missing the top. Mm, nah. We found this cute little... Oh, it's signed. <laughs> it's a little tea light holder. I like it. There's no price on it, though. I don't know if they'll sell it to us. It's super cute. I don't know if they'll sell it to us. And look at this. Someone, like, made candlesticks with... Wow, that's awful. It's like aluminum made in China. Look at this, Adam. <laughs> Imagine, like, picking this up and then, you know, labeling it as a brutalist piece. <laughs> It's, oh, it's awful. <laughs> what should you even want for that? 99 cents? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man cave. Knuckle draggers and Neanderthals welcome. Others go away. <laughs> Can you guys please give me some feedback on how I do the distance between me and the shelves? Like, do I get too close where you don't actually see items? Let us know. We want to improve our videos all the time. So um, this is kind of nice. Very Florida. I love these to like hold your bananas. I already have one. I think I'm going to pick this one up because mine's attached to a basket. Um, and I put the potatoes and oranges in the basket. So I'm thinking I'm going to put the bag of onions on the one that's attached to the basket and just buy this one for my bananas. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Is there mold on it? No. Walmart. Well, oh, $1.99, that's good. All right. Yeah, I know I said I would stay away from speckled pottery, but this one just has a really cool look. Still Jody. Oh, but it's a chip. But Jody, this one was nice. <laughs> $5, though. With the chip, I don't think so. And this looks like pottery. It is pottery. She's cute. She had a broken neck that was repaired, though. Oh, she's totally broken all over the place. Stamped AE, I think. Oh, that's a shame. This cool little tin here. Not an old tin. Not an old one. Looking around. is this? Is this Ferdy Gray Brass? No. This is made in Mexico. It's a decanter. I don't like it. It's like kind of messed up. And like tilted. Hmm. Okay. I think that I am satisfied with this. I might go check out the art real quick. This is pretty. Is this real painting? Yeah. Oh, it's damaged right there. It's a hole in it. Is this granny squares? No, but this is really beautiful. $5.99 for it. Not bad. I kind of like the way it's made at the bottom. Cool. I'm going to pass on it though. Let's go look for some mid-century modern. Oh, this is this is a place to get the walkers. Like honestly, we got a walker for Adam at Goodwill after he had his hip surgery. 
and uh, we got it for like no monies. I think it was like four dollars. They want twenty and twenty here. That's a little steep, but ours we got for like no money, and um, it's so worth it. This is really nice. It's newer though. But anyway, but yeah, this is a place to go. Like, skip the medical supply stores if you need a walker. <laughs> Check out your local Goodwill. I think I would pick this up for my home because we do live, live beachside. This is $19.99 though. I don't want to pay that much for it. But I know I've seen these before. So it's just a matter of time where I can find one that's more affordable. All right. So let's check out any art pieces here. All of this is pretty large. So I don't want to get anything too large. Let's check out some maybe small furniture pieces. Maybe small art pieces. There's books. Yeah, no, I think I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead and check out with these items and we're gonna go to one more Goodwill. All right, so not too far away from Naples, there's a town called Bonita Springs. And this is the Goodwill at Bonita Springs. 240 is the address name. Again, the addresses, locations, and all that everywhere we go will always be in the description below. Adam is gonna stay with my dad because he's he needs to stretch he needs to get out we're going all these goodwills <laughs> okay so this one i'm gonna voice over you guys the music is quite loud all right so i'm heading to the back where the hard goods are but there are these islands at this goodwill and they have items on them i like these camel candle holders this one's only four dollars and 99 cents and i do see a smaller one for three dollars and 99 cents I'm going to go ahead and pick this one up. I know they're kind of new, but, you know, it's okay. Oh, there's some kind of damage right there, but um, we're just going to deal with it. There's none on the other side, so I'm going to remove these rubbery grapes off of this awesome plate. The thing about it is decorative plates don't really sell well, Um they're so beautiful though you know i love making a whole wall full of decorative plates at my, my house but i don't know about others i just don't seem to be able to move them trivets are another thing that is very very hard to move lost colony this is a cool one but you know the ones that i don't sell i do actually use because we do have a glass top on our table so that helps this is kind of neat I like the the texture of the glass, but it's obviously very new. This is a big time score, you guys. The Raku was really cool, but this right here is a mid-century oil lamp trio. And seems to be water inside, like that's how they cleaned it. But let me pop this on the screen to show you what the comps are for something like this. That is an excellent find, and I'm super duper happy. And um, I'm going to pick that up. For just a few dollars. I do wish that I had an antique booth that I could put this in because I really don't want to ship this. It will be a nightmare, but I would ship it. Now this item. This is a vintage H.J. Stotter pitcher. I love the triangular shape. You can easily get one of these for maybe $20, but I know it can sell up to $50 because I've sold a strawberry one before for about $50. So this basket is just really cool. It's only $6.99. You put your wine bottles in the back or Coca-Cola if you don't drink like us. And then, uh, you know, your food and stuff in the front. But it is large, so I'm going to leave that. I'm looking for smaller items. This wreath is really cool, too. I just wish it had brighter colors. It's very muted, and I live in Florida, and I just kind of like the bright colors um let's see the prices of candles don't have to be that high <laughs> not a ten dollar candle okay let's see what else we've got down here beep 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 boo let's see i'm starting to get happier about going to goodwill as you guys know if you've been on my channel for a while i'm not a fan of goodwill um mainly because i'm just angry that <laughs> the prices are so sky high but now my thrift stores that I go to regularly are um, having sky high prices so I don't know maybe I'll give Goodwill a chance the ones in my area 
they're not that great. This was a candle holder. Uh, I kind of like what this looks like. It's kind of fun. Having a shell of a time. I guess that was a maybe a project piece. I don't know. It's kind of funny. It feels very cheap, so I'm not going to pick it up, but it is very whimsical. Very fun. <laughs> Maybe if I saw some oranges in there, maybe I would have picked it up. Some terracotta candles. Um, let's see. You always got to look at the larger bottles and vases because you never know when you're going to run into a genie bottle or an empoli. This thing I find everywhere. That's a made in China vase. I find that everywhere. <laughs> Um, this is kind of a nice texture. Still feels Chinese, though. It is something about when you pick up a piece over time. It, you know, some people do ask me, how do you know if something's good quality or not? Like, over time, your hands will get trained. You will know. This is really, really nice. Um, a nice little platter, but... Um, it's not super exciting. I liked it for me, but I don't need to buy for me. This is Mexican pottery. I have plenty of those pieces. A pewter star box. That felt weird saying star box because I wanted to say Starbucks, like the coffee. <laughs> These might be from Westland, which are good sellers for me, but um, that one has a chip on the wing, on the blue wing. Westland, um, modern candle holders, wooden candle holders. I don't know if that was an intentional crack on or scrape or whatever it was on that base or it was a burl wood that they carved out of. I don't know. Let's see. There's a whole bunch of these. Ugh. This is gunky. Not that I wouldn't pick things up if they were gunky because you could always clean them. But I don't know about the oils, the oil holders. Um, I used to buy those a lot for myself, but I, I don't. This is kind of nice, this pottery. It's terracotta. I was so badly hoping that it was <laughs> Raku. I was like, another Raku score? But I'm going to leave that behind. I think this piece goes with it. It kind of matches the look. It's kind of nice, but I don't know. There's something about it that I'm not sure that I really want it. It feels very, it feels mass produced, even though it doesn't look like it, but it feels like it. So I'm really thinking about it, but <laughs> I'm going to leave it. So back to the oil thing. I want to talk to you guys about that for a second. It's just, I've seen, I've read really studies about, you know, lighting candles all the time or burning all of these incense oil, the cones, the sticks. Just be careful. They, they can, there are some studies that show that they can cause blood dysgracias like leukemia and lymphoma. So careful. I do keep up with medical progressions. <laughs> I am a nurse, so I like to keep up to date. Um, okay. I really love these um, Rattan chargers. Aren't those cool? Oh man, those are way cool. Okay, $7.99 for the set. Yeah, I think I have some though already, but I think somebody should definitely pick those up. I don't like digging through the knives and forks and stuff. I got cut really badly one time, so I'm still pretty scarred about that look at these brownware duck napkin rings these are neat some of them are chipped though yeah that's i think that said bombay but i don't do well selling napkin rings so i will leave them but i i do love brownware a lot so i notice it i see it i i appreciate the beauty in it I love brownware crocs, brownware crocs or cookie jars, and those I just kind of pick up, you know, for my own collection. Look at this. I've hit the trivet jackpot. <laughs> I have hit the trivet jackpot. This is super awesome. Just looking for some for me because, as I said, so I use trivets quite a bit. I'm going to take these two. 
Wow, look at this. It's kind of neat. This is cool. With the pewter golf clubs. I don't know, though. It's very scuffed. That's uh, lucite or acrylic. Um, very, very scuffed. Let's make our way down this aisle. Plates. Lots of plates. All very modern. Golden Girls is very relevant. I sell Golden Girls like I could sell uh, I Love Lucy. People still love that show. I wish I would find some Roseanne mugs. You know, that was my favorite show in the 90s. It's cute. Hand painted for buck 99. <laughs> Looking good. I guess I'm just really searching for that one je ne sais quoi. This is real nice. This texture is kind of like Italian feeling, but it, it does say Japan on it. But it has that kind of glaze. Oh, this is definitely uranium. And just a uh, sneak peek, y'all. I'm going to end up putting that back. See how nice it, 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 it is very UV reactive. I do put it back because I didn't realize that there was this large chip. Do you guys see it? On the rim. Just like my one piece of uranium that I found the entire trip. <laughs> but I had to put it back. And that's a nice. I like the grain on that. Um, I found this macrame, you know, very modern moon wall decor i'm gonna pick that up just a few dollars it's cute and then i found these cardinals um for buck 99 and cardinals sell well for me i like this little green vase so we'll grab that also and then i like to look at the lampshades look at this one Ugh, i love it i love that i'm gonna pick that up I do stick with like the Hawaii, Florida, very tropical theme. That is my favorite thing about living in Florida. If you're looking for old vintage Florida, oh man, we have them in our thrift stores. All right, guys. So thank you so much for coming with us to Goodwill. I think all in all, we had a pretty successful trip. We didn't buy a whole lot, which is what you guys are used to filling up my carts. But the things that we got were valuable and they're going to bring in some good money, maybe 3x or 4x on each item that uh, especially the little bulbs that I just found um, with, on the Lucite tray and the Raku pottery. The Raku, not the green one, but the big one I'm going to bring to a vintage market, probably the rust market in April. We do that every third Saturday of every month, and that is going to be at the rust market in Lake Park. And um, I will give you guys more information closer to that date. Wasn't that a successful day, Adam? Yeah, what do you think, Dad? Fine, it's good. <laughs> he didn't even come inside. But okay, so now we're gonna probably find like a beach area to kind of walk around in. I'm kind of hungry. Thank you. Uh -huh. A fork, please. Fork? Oh, a fork and um, for him, he doesn't have. Is there rice? Yeah, there's rice there. Thank you so much. Do you have um, sriracha? Yeah, thanks. We hope you enjoyed this video. If there is anything that you saw as thrift that you'd like to purchase, just email us at jollyflips at and describe the item. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our small business.